watching BBN Tonight on your official UK sports station, LEX 18. Presented by Central Bank, the official bank of UK athletics. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. As we mentioned in our last segment, College Hoops is scheduled to finally get underway this week. Kentucky's first game is against Moorhead State Wednesday. I talked with Eagles head coach Preston Spradlin about the in-state matchup. Well, Coach, I don't know if you heard, but John Calipari said today that he had the worst practice ever since he's been here today uh, or this weekend. Can you, you know, does that make you feel good? Um, no, it doesn't, because uh, I don't know, for one, if I believe them, uh, and for two, I, I've been a part of some Cal practices that weren't very good, and we came out the next night, and we played pretty daggone well, so I'm not looking to, I'm not going to drink the, the juice on that one, I'm not, I'm not buying into that just yet. Well, how excited are you to just get this thing rolling? I mean, it's a pretty cool tournament here at Rupp, and, and you get to play the Cats, and Richmond, and Detroit, and, and just kind of talk about your excitement level. Well, it's really exciting. You know, it's just it's been a long time since uh, since we've played in games. Um, and I think, you know, for for student athletes, I think every coach can say that, you know, for that two hours that you step up on the court for practice every day is the most normal any of us ever feel. Um, you get to play basketball. You get to forget about COVID. Uh, you get to focus in on your team and your teammates and, and what you love to do. And so now this is uh, this is a, like a holiday of sorts that we get a chance to, to actually play some games because it's been a long process. Uh, a lot of things have gone into it, a lot of planning, a lot of research, uh, a lot of scheduling and, and all those components to get to this point. So we're really excited. Uh, anytime you get a chance to, to play an in-state team like Kentucky, uh, it adds an element of excitement. You know, for us, we've got uh, two upperclassmen who uh, played their freshman year in our exhibition game against Kentucky. And uh, so now here they are, you know, four years later to see how they've uh, grown, how they've matured and, and how they stack up and a uh, really good Richmond team. Uh, mm -hmm. They're, they're going to be a, a really tough matchup, you know, very different from the Kentucky game. Uh, a lot of experience. The style of play is uh, is very tricky, hard to prepare for. And then uh, the Detroit game, you know, they're going to be very much like us. A lot of new faces, don't know exactly what to expect. But I think the, the key component for all four teams, I know what we're focusing on as we go into this, is we've got to be the best we can be. We've been working on ourselves for a long time. We've been practicing longer than we've ever done. And uh, let's put it all to, to the test and, and see how good we can be at the things we want to be great at when we play against someone else. Well, quickly, let's talk about the Eagles. You lose your top two scores from last year, but you've got some new faces. K.J. Hunt uh, is eligible to play this year. Uh, just talk about what we can expect from you all. Yeah, you know, we've, we've got some guys that uh, are going to be new to the box score this year, but they're not necessarily new to our roster. You know, we had three guards who were setting out for us last season. Uh, first one is, is Davon Cooper uh, going into his fourth season with us and missed the year with a foot injury. So he's back, and we're super excited about him actually playing a full season healthy this year and, and what that'll mean for our team and his maturity and progression that he's made since his time being here. Um, the K.J. Hunt, as you mentioned, set out the entire season due to transfer last year. And then uh, at Christmas last year, we got a nice Christmas present. We picked up Skylar Potter, another in-state player from Bowling Green. Uh, transferred from Wright State. And so although those guys are going to be new to the box score, they're not new to our roster, not new to our program. Uh, they've been, you know, in our system and what we do for a while now. And uh, we've known for, for quite a while exactly what we've had in those guys. And it's it's been an upgrade in size, experience, athleticism, and, uh, and versatility uh, with those guys, with their size and, and what they're able to, to bring to the table. So we're excited about them. Uh, some returning players that are going to be really good for us. We're expecting to make a big jump. Uh, Talon Cooper was a freshman point guard for us last year. He ended up finishing uh, the this, this season. He was second in the OVC in assist to turnover ratio. He's just he's a gifted passer, another big guard that we can move all around the court, but he makes guys better. And so he's made a big jump and, uh, and, and looks to be healthy this year as well. Um, and then uh, Julius Dixon is a guy that uh, didn't make many box scores last year as a freshman, but he's added 25 pounds and uh, carved out a, a nice role for himself this year just because of his work ethic. And uh, we're excited to see Julius get some meaningful minutes for us this year. Uh, but we've got a slew of guys. We've got uh, some, some other new faces and a couple more returners. But uh, we're, we're excited about the versatility of our team, the depth of our team and uh, the experience. You know, we've got an older group. I know Coach is going to have eight or so freshmen out there. We're going to have seven juniors, 
And uh, five, six of those juniors are older guys. They've all had a red shirt or post-grad year at some point. And so uh, we're going we're gonna to have a little bit more experience than we've had in the past. Well, Coach, we can't wait to see you on Wednesday at Rupp. Good luck to you. Well, thank you so much. And I, I've got to give one big shout out to, to the Big Blue Nation. You know, obviously we're playing the Cats Wednesday, uh, but we're going to play the second game on Friday against Richmond. And then we're going to play the second one uh, on Sunday against Detroit. And so if I'm not mistaken, I think those tickets for the Kentucky fans are good for both games. You're already going to have blue on, put some gold on under your uh, under your blue and stick around and then help give us a good atmosphere in Rupp Arena to win a couple games, okay? That sounds great. And we know Keith will be rooting for you too. Thanks, Absolutely. Coach. Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, how smart is that? I you know. know, pick up the fans, get a little help on those games. All right, next up on BBN tonight, we'll return to Kentucky football. Defensive end Josh Pascal is going to join us with some takeaways from Saturday's tough one at Alabama.